Hi folks, this is part three of um, painting like an impressionist using Claude Monet as our inspiration. We're color mixing with acrylic and um, applying it in nice quick brush strokes. Nothing too um, detailed. We're using this uh, original uh, picture from Monet's, uh, one of his Water Lily series. Um, and what we did in the other part of the workshop was we put a base color on the canvas to start with but you could use card or you know if you have acrylic paper or whatever or a thick piece of paper you might be able to work on as well it was like a sort of greeny bluey background and then from that I mixed a range of uh, blues over here using our primary colors mixing with white and lots of green and um, and then we've also dabbed in quite a lot of white and now for this sort of secondary bit um, I'm sort of trying to get those nice kind of hazy lilacs and uh, you can sort of see here we've got like lots of lots of pinks and things like that going on so what we did over here was then I have got a little bit of red and um, blue and um, I had a little bit of purple as part of my pack my color pack anyway mix those with some white and also I've used a little bit of um, uh, yellow which was uh, in that little acrylic pack that I had as well and mixed it with some white and so we don't want it to be too heavy we want this to be quite nice and light and we're just going to apply quite um just just little just little dabs here and there and we'll probably go over this and go over this again but you know for um I'm trying to do a little quick workshop so we don't take up too much of your time and then let you get on with it let you experiment with it and then you can report back and see how you're doing and just dabbing that in just very lightly sorry I can't show you the painting while I'm doing this um, I'm taking it as inspiration we're not following it completely but it's just to give that idea of how the uh, impressionist painters would have done really light touch lots of texture in their brush strokes and mixing just really kind of emphasizing the light at all times you know and that's what I'm saying sometimes if you're start over painting a little bit with acrylic the colors can get a little muddy so I suggest when that starts to happen just give it a rest leave it for a while let it dry in and then you can go back over it again with the brighter colors and they'll sit on top nice and bright and light and if you're in a hurry you can always if you've got a hairdryer or something like that handy you can use that as well so just slowly slowly building these colors up and then We've had um, more of our pinky lilac -y hues here. So it's just kind of, again, lots of white. It's always kind of in the mix with these. Um, sorry, I'm coming at this at a funny angle just to get the camera and my arms in at the same time. But very lightly, yeah. You know, and if you just want to literally do this as an exercise of mixing color and applying paint texture you know you can you can make it much more abstract if you want you know if you're not confident in drawing on and sketching you know sometimes it's quite nice just to do it as a pure color exercise it can be really really relaxing just to mix colors like this and dab them on lovely you know you get a really nice sense of achievement at the end of it um so i'm just kind of start to see that those colors that kind of money palette of colors is starting to kind of come together now and again lots of things sort of built up so I put those first layer of colors on and then let them sit for a while when I have a cup of coffee come back and it does you no harm to kind of not look at something for a while give it a rest and come back and look at it with fresh eyes and you'll start to see things that you maybe didn't see when you've been looking at it for too long and also the whole idea too with impressionist paintings and their painting techniques is that the stuff looks much better from a distance you know when you look up really close it can look a bit fuzzy and distorted but as you move back from the picture it can start to make more sense um, I'm literally just doing little dabs here to kind of represent some of these little water lilies but I'll go over that again um, again later I don't quite have the pink he has quite a, sh a sort of shocking pink in his painting and I don't have that with the color palette that I have but like I said I didn't want to use specific more expensive acrylic 
colors with this. I wanted to use something that anyone could get their hands on really, you know. Um, so we're just taking it easy with that. A bit more lilac. Okay, just sort of, okay. So I'll probably stop this video now. I don't want to go too far over five minutes. And I'll add a wee bit more to that and then I'll come back maybe then for one final part of this just to kind of show you how I can start to add in a little bit more detail. Alright, thank you.